Hello friends, today we can see the new topic in Applied Thermodynamics and myself Gaurav Jagdish Patak welcomes all of you in this session. The Today's topic of discussion is the multi-staging of air compressor. Now, in the previous topic, we see the various advantages, requirements and applications of air compressors and the air which is having a high pressure. In this stage, in this topic, we can see how it can be worked and what are the basic requirements for the multi-staging of particular air compressor. As we know, a compressor is the device which takes a definite quantity of fluid and that is air and delivers it into the required pressure. Now, high pressure air in the single stage reciprocating compressor is required heavy working parts and has uh, accommodated the high pressure ratio which increases the balancing problems, high torque fluctuations and requires heavy flywheel installations. For overcoming all these problems, there is a requirement of multi-staging of the reciprocating compressor. Now we can see why multi-staging of compressor is required for the particular purpose. That is, a high temperature rise leads into the limitations for the maximum achievable pressure rise and the discharge temperature shall not be exceeds up to 150 degrees Celsius and should not be exceeds up to 135 degrees Celsius to the hydrogen rich services. A multi-staging compressor compresses air to the required pressure in the multi-stages and intercools air uses between the each stages to remove heat and decrease the temperature of the gas so that gas could be compressed to the high pressure without much rise in the temperature. Now, what are the reciprocating compressors we can see for the multi-stages? That is the first stage in front of your screen in the line diagram you can see the first stage is low pressure low pressure uh, uh, cylinder. Second stage is intermediate pressure and third stage is high pressure engine. We can, in, we can improve the stages with the help of with the help of the pressure stages that is that is uh, engine, number of engine or number of pistons we can arrange by step by step between it, these two that is low pressure stage and intermediate pressure stage we can use an in, intercooler system to, re, to accommodate or to does not exceed the pressure level of beyond the moderate level. The series of arrangement of cylinder in which the compressed air from the earlier cylinder that is discharged becomes the intake for the next stage is called the multi-staging of the reciprocating compressor. And the intercooler use between these intermediate stages is compress the air cool between these two cylinders. By doing the multi-staging, there is the portion in front of your screen which is indicated by hatching line that is perfect intercooling from point 3 to 5 and without intercooling is so seen by line 3 to 2 to 3. The PV rate to gamma is constant in both the stages but the area of shift, uh, the volume which is uh, required into the next stage is very large as compared to first stage. And the perfect intercooling can be achieved after the initial compression of low pressure cylinder and air is cooled into the intercooler to, to its original temperature before entering to high pressure cylinder that is T1 is equals to T2 is equals to T1. That is the point 1 and 2 are the same isothermal lines which is indicated by the black portion and hatched portion in uh, diagram in the front of screen. Now, Multi-staging we can achieve from the point 8156, this is the cycle points in front of your screen on the PV diagram and 
the PV rate to gamma is equal to constant, the cycle can be achieved with the help of multistaging. The two compressor phases without interlocking and without intercooling, we can see the same as that of work done is a single stage, its delivered temperature is also remains same. By applying the mathematical formulas and the PV rate to gamma is equal to constant the function, we can calculate the multistagial efficiency and the reciprocating compressor multistaging work done by the two stages with the help of intercooler also. The obtained volume of the compressed air we can calculate as n minus 1 p1 v1 is equal to p2 v2 upon p1 raised to n minus 1 upon gamma. That are the various function and mathematical calculation regarding the multi-staging of compressor. Thank you friends. Thank you very much.